Hello, friends. Welcome to Lug Life Podcast. My name is Adam. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to stop the recording, Sherry. We're going to keep it rolling. And I want to tell them what this laugh is about. <laughs> so you guys you guys will know. We start our podcast the same way every time. Oh, no. It's, hi, Adam. Hi, Sherry. What episode is this? And then Sherry says... <laughs> episode 82. <laughs> except, like, I don't know... Seconds before we started this, we started our intro, started, and Cherry was like, I don't know. Did we ever decide? Did we ever figure that out? And so then... So we restarted, and and then it just made me laugh. And then you just giggled. Oh, no. I snorted a little bit, too. I don't know if that picked up. I hope. Let's let's hope it picked up, because I would love to edit this and hear a Sherry snort. Okay, so this is going to be, well, yes, episode 82, Sherry. Yes, correct. Um, And we're going to talk about something very specific in this episode. Yes. And I'm trying to think, have we ever done a podcast like this? I don't think so, actually. Like a a recap of a rando trip. Yeah. So you spent the last week or so. Eight days. Eight days. Mm -hmm. Not here in the cold and darkness of Alaska. (laughs) Correct. You were where? In California. So what we're going to do. Southern California. And you did not bring a vlog camera. You didn't vlog a darn thing. I didn't. I actually said semi intended to. I think the only video I took um, and we will get there was actually at Disneyland. Okay. (laughs) Of the Mary Poppins band. Of course. (laughs) Uh, But you did take some photos. We posted those over on our Instagram account. Yes. Um, But as far as like what the trip was, the kind of things you got to do. Because you got to do some things that like frankly I'm just going to say up front. I'm super jealous about. Super jelly. I know. And so we wanted to still give people a place to get to hear about your trip, do kind of a recap. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, you know what? We have no idea if a trip recap, recap, (laughs) recap, maybe if a trip trip (laughs) recap podcast will work or if it will be crap. Well, I was trying to do that. (laughs) Were you? No, not at all. Uh So here's what I want you to do. Uh, I'm kind of going to, I'll facilitate But obviously, I wasn't there. I don't know the details. And so I need you to kind of fill in and walk us through. Okay. So let's... Go ahead. So I actually just made a list. I went through my photos and I made a list of the places that we went and the things we did. Of course you did. So (laughs) (laughs) that's because that's what you do. With bullet points and everything. Exactly. That's exactly right. She's built an Excel spreadsheet. Sub bullets. (laughs) Um, So so let's talk at first about how the heck this trip happened because this was not at all on our plan. It really wasn't. And honestly, it started with like an Instagram um, messenger. So we kind of have a group with our friend Janice Uh with that's you and me and Janice. And um, it's been kind of ongoing for like, I don't even know how long, months, years, Mm -hmm. who knows, long time. And we talk about all kinds of random things. And Janice is always trying to get me to, to go down there. And um, it was the kind of thing that she was like, well, you should send Sherry here. And like for the, you know, the millionth time. And, and we kind of looked at each other and I was like. What if we actually did this time? What if we actually did? Like, um, I can bring my laptop. Like, you know, it's just. I, we have air miles. We have air miles. Like it cost us $11.20 in tax, like taxes and fees. Yeah. Um, And, and it was just like. Why the heck not? Like Win- winter's been incredibly long. It's been incredibly cold. So snowy, so much snow. Like it's just never stopped and I'm just I'm so done. I got to get out and go to Florida and I've gotten to get out and like have trips you have not. Right. And so it's like you're just kind of over it and it was like, <laughs> "Wait a second, what if this actually happened?" Yeah. Um now I want to back up and be like, "So wait a second, so you're telling me you shipped Sherry off to a random like family from the <laughs> internet?" What? Yeah. I- Yes. Basically, yes. Yes and no. So no, you kidding. have actually met Janice and her daughter, Amy, um, a couple of years, pre-COVID. Pre-COVID, I met them at Disneyland. Um, at Disneyland. Yep. And then we actually met up with the whole family um, with their other daughter and her husband um, in Juno because they came up here on a Disney cruise last summer. And then they're the ones who took us to Disneyland on our layover in exactly. f- going to Fiji. And yep. so the Hanson fam have just like... Like we've hung out with them a couple of times and, and it's... You and Janice have had like, you guys have your wine and wines. Our, we have our wine and wine nights um, where it's just we like Zoom call each other and um, we always have some kind of alcoholic beverage mm-hmm. and we just chat. Gasp. <laughs> gasp gasp um and i i mean it's just it's so much fun she's really just one of like my favorite humans and so like it was a lot of fun to just go and actually spend like actual time yeah they're with pe- her and her family they're people the entire the entire hansen fam 
uh, Janice Paul, Alyssa and Amy, like all of them. Really good people. G- genuinely good people. And, the kind and of- me now because I am an honorary member of the Hanson family. Well, well, okay, that's rude. According to Janice today. Well, I don't, okay, that's rude. Um, <laughs> but the kind of people that when you meet, at least like for us, like you just instantly like and feel a connection to. These are our people. These are our people. And yep. so the thought of like you going down there for a week. It wasn't weird at all. Felt totally safe. It totally did. Yep. It was just like, oh, I'm just going to go hang out with friends for a week. That's exactly what it was like. And yep. so. That is somewhere that is not snow. And so you did <laughs> kind of have like this amazing girls week with some pretty crazy experiences. I did. So let's start walking through kind of what you did. Uh, so we got a ticket, like I said, used air miles, flew Anchorage to, to LAX. Direct flight. Direct flight is like four hours and 20 minutes. Oh, I love that flight. I know. It's fantastic. Like snow of Anchorage to the palm trees of California in under five hours. Yep. For $11. Yep. I know. Like, are you. <laughs> All day, every day. I know. I'm just like, wait, let's leave right now. <laughs> we can. I know. And we could. <laughs> Amy wanted to call me today and they did that. Um, and she misses me and she wants me to come back. So. Okay. What about me? <laughs> no, it's just me. That's incredibly rude. <laughs> so let's quickly move on. They didn't, they didn't talk about you. So when you <laughs> land, we're, I'm moving on very, very fast here. <laughs> So, um, you land in LAX yes. and you landed, wait, did you land really early in the morning? Like six o'clock in the morning, Ooh. six something in the morning. And they had you hitchhike from LAX no. to their house. No, Janice got up super early and drove from their home, um, which is a little over an hour away. And... Do you want to give out their address? Are we good? I don't. No, we're kidding. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a version for that. Um, but yeah, so she came and picked me up so early. Okay, and you guys leaving the leaving LAX. Mm-hmm. Do you guys? What do you guys do? Do you get breakfast? Do you stop? Do you go right to the house? We went to a mall. A mall? That's like <laughs> yeah. the most California. Like totally. Absolutely. Um. Well, and so she had like a Target order to pick up. Uh huh. And so we actually went to, and I honestly don't know which mall it was. Um. And she can leave a comment, Janice. Leave a comment. Um. But it was, there was, like, a Target in the mall and then, um, like, this little Vietnamese, like, coffee shop Ooh. that had little pastries and stuff. And so we just got coffee and pastries there and ate them out in the wonderful sunshine. And then we went into Target and got the pickup order. How nice was it? Because I, I know I always feel this way every time I fly somewhere, especially leaving Alaska in the winter, when you... It's like those first moments when you're outside and you feel the warmth of the sun. How was that? It was delightful. Yeah. Yeah. We actually, so we sat outside and like ate our little pastries and drank our coffee. And Janice took a lot of pictures of me because she was like, the sun is just hitting you just right. (laughs) So it's really funny. But it was so nice. And I texted one of my sister and she was like, I see sunshine. (laughs) She was so happy for me. That's funny. Yep. Um, so that was delightful. And then, um, and then I think we went back to the house for a little bit, dropped off bags and mm-hmm. whatever. They hosted you, made you feel at home, all that kind of fun they stuff. They did, yes. So cool. Yep. Um, just excellent. And then we went to Roger's Garden. Okay. For lunch. Is it a restaurant? Is it a garden? It's a, nur- <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. It's a nursery, like a plant nursery. Not babies. Not babies. Plants, plants not babies. Plants not babies. Plants, not babies. Um, that's beautiful, all okay. kinds of flowers and produce and whatever. And then, um, we kind of mm. walked through there and then, then we went to the farmhouse, which is the restaurant on site oh. for lunch nice. and it was amazing. Do you remember what you had? I had the, they have a today's pizza. They have a different pizza every day. Okay. And I had that and I'd actually planned on getting, um, I think like the burger or something like that sounded really good, but then he told us what the pizza was for the day and it was like prosciutto and I'm going to get it wrong because there's so many things on it. And apples and like a balsamic oh and gosh. I don't know. I it, There were so many and like arugula. Like it was so good. I think you, that's Rocket for all of our UK listeners. Rocket. I And I sent you a picture of it. <laughs> I and know it, you like, did. It was drool worthy. Like it was so good. It felt like a magazine pizza. You know, it's one of those like fancy looking pieces that's like, oh, that's sort of a magazine. Absolutely. Right? Yes. Yep. So the rest of the first day, keep in mind that like you've gotten like you were up early, you slept almost none on the flight. I slept basically none on the flight, um, and so I basically was just awake all night long. Yep. Because I flew through the night, and got uh, I don't know even maybe half an hour of sleep. Like I really yeah. didn't sleep much, um, and so I was super tired. So we just, just went back to the house and like hung out. That's awesome. Yep. Um, anything else the rest of that first day? Just kind of hung out of the house? I just think we just hung out of the house the rest of that day. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, day number two that you're down there is where 
day, of all of the days, this is the one that I was the most jealous. I know. And it's the one that I was the most like waiting by my phone to get photos. <laughs> and day. I literally just did like a photo dump. Like I sent you every single photo that I took. I am so happy that you got to have this experience before me. <laughs> here's why. Here's why. I I don't know that I believe that. Nope. It's really true. And here's why I want to tell you that. I understand that I have, like, I get to travel a ton. I get, you know what I mean? Like I'm always on the road and when I travel, I try to do fun stuff. And there's a lot of times that it's like, I don't know. I feel like it sucks that I get to go do that stuff and you don't. That's true. You do get to do a lot of things without me. And then we'll sometimes be able to go back and like do it again. But like you've already done it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But this is one of those things where you got to do this first. And so you got to have that first experience. And so someday, again, hopefully we'll be able to go back together. Yeah. But like you got to do this first. And I think that's dope. Yeah, good. <laughs> so um, still jealous as heck. Oh, well, sure. But let's talk about this because this to me, you guys know we're Disney fans. Yeah. This to me is the pinnacle of Disney. Yeah. Um, so we got to go to Walt Disney Studios. And for people who don't know what that is. It is, um, that's where Walt's office was. That's where like all the animation takes place still. There's still a ton of um, filming and stuff on site. Um, there, That's where actually a lot of Saving Mr. Banks was filmed. Mm-hmm. Um, all of the grassy areas, all of the areas like in the buildings and like um, outside the buildings. Th- those are all like legit in Walt Disney Studios. Like those are the buildings that are currently still in operation. The reason that Walt Disney Studios to me, we've talked a lot about this. Like for me, the magic of Disney starts with Walt. Like Walt is right. my Disney creative crush. Yep. And and people talk about like the magic of Disneyland. The thing that Disneyland has that Walt Disney World doesn't is like it was Walt's park. And that's true completely. Mm-hmm. But like. This is like next level. This is next level. Yeah. So, okay. First this of all. This is like where Walt worked. This is not something that is open to the public. You can't just like be like, okay, I'm just going to go to the studios today. Right. <clears throat> so um, their daughter, Alyssa, actually works for Freeform, mm-hmm. and um, which is a Disney-owned company. And so she actually went with us and signed us in. This is so cool. And, like, took us around to all of the places. And I think it's really neat because I do know that, at least pre-COVID, I don't know if it's, again, you used to be able to, you could book, like, some, a tour sort yes, of thing. Yes, you can still do, like, private tours. Okay. Um, and... Actually, so, like, what, what they were telling us was, um, Janice and Alyssa was telling us, is it's like, they do still do the tours, um, but doing it yourself, you kind of get to um, go at your own pace and spend time in the places you want to spend time at, and you actually get to go other places that the tours don't go. Wow. Um, and so we actually were able to go into, like, the animation building, um, and... Well, there's like, there's two animation buildings, but Mm -hmm. there's, um, we got to go into the building where like a lot of the stuff actually happens and people are like actually working there. That's so crazy. Um, and they do tours through there, but kind of not when people are like actively working. And you got to, I mean, they sent me photos of like the Disney archives. Yeah. And I mean. That is that building. Oh, that's the building? Mm -hmm. And they have one of the original, um, I don't even know what they're called, but, like, those giant machines that have, like, the multi-layers. And yeah. And how they did, like, the 3D um, uh, animation. Animation, yeah. Yep, for, like, all of the early movies. And the plates that they had in there when we went through were Pinocchio. That's which is cra- super fun. That is cr- crazy. I know. Because that's not, like... And it's, like, a 20-foot tall, like, machine. It's, like, like it's... those are the plates. Yes. It's not like, oh, cool, look at all of this reproduction stuff. <laughs> no, that was like the plates for Pinocchio and like Gosh. in the in the um, levels and like the camera pointing straight down. Yep. Like it was just really cool. Um, you got to have lunch there. We got to have lunch in the commissary. Very cool. Um, and they have Dole Whip the, every day. You guys. <laughs> can you imagine like at your job, <laughs> at your job, a Dole Whip machine? Yeah. Stop. They did. I sent. I did send Adam a picture of that. Um, and they're supposed to have Walt's chili every day. Oh, I didn't know that. But they did not have it. And I, apparently, the last couple of times they've gone, they have not had it, which okay. is weird because they're supposed to have it every day. Interesting. But, so, yeah. I haven't asked you this question. Mm-hmm. For you, what was the highlight of Walt Disney Studios? Like, oh gosh, I, um, I, I know. I know that's a hard question for you, but like. Not even just one. What are a couple of the things that when you think back that you're always going to remember? 
Well, so Janice and I talked about this, and I actually, um, and one of the reasons she wanted to take me there was because we are, like, the same person. And <laughs> we can go and appreciate the history and the nostalgia and the creativity yeah. that occurs there. And it's not just, like, a cool place to go. Like, it was, you could just, I don't know, you could just feel <sighs> the creativity and the history that took place there. Is, is currently taking place there. That's right. Not just... This isn't a museum. <laughs> right. It's like they're still like... This is where like magic is... Magic has been made and magic still is being made. Right. So it was really interesting. And I don't know if... I don't think I sent you a picture of this. But like walking up to the building that had the archives and had the um, Pinocchio prints and whatever. Um, or plates. Um, <laughs> there's all these windows. It's a huge building with all these windows. And some of the windows are mirrored. Huh. Like, you can't see into them. Okay. And that is the marble floor. <gasps> and you literally, Stop. you can't see in. Like, they don't let people see in those what? windows. And then you walk inside, and when you're standing beside this huge machine with, like, the Pinocchio plates, you can look up, and there's, um, like, marble, um, like, characters um like cutouts and stuff kind yeah. of there that you can sort of see but it's just this tiny tiny section of the floor that you're allowed to see and then it's all just doors mm. like you're not allowed to see anything beyond like it was really it was like oh my gosh that's the marble floor <laughs> what's back there what's back there what's back there i know um so that was really cool oh that's so cool yeah dang it yeah like literally mirrored windows that you can't see in because it's marble so cool yeah. Gosh. Okay. So, any other um, Walt Disney Studios things you want to talk about? Things that stood out to you? <sighs> I don't think so. I mean, it was it was such a cool experience. How many hours were you there? Ish. Um, just a couple actually. Okay. Yep. Not super long. Yep. Um, because Alyssa did have to get back to work, of so course. it was. <laughs> um, we didn't have all day there, but it was. Um, it was really really cool. I love that. I just think that's that's like the coolest. Mm -hmm. That's the coolest thing. Well, and it was really funny because you were kind of walking through this alley that has like stages, and it says stage one and stage two and stage three, and then like plaques of um, the kind of movies that were filmed there. Mm -hmm. And I think I sent you some of those. Um, yeah, you did. Plaques, and in stage one, they were clearly filming something mm -hmm. um, because there was like a Tesla. And a Mustang and like all of these really nice cars, like right, like parked in line, like right beside the stage. Right behind the door. Yep. Yeah. And it's like, oh, there's, there's very wealthy people that are there right Some, now. <laughs> also, I do want to point out the fact that like, this is how you know that we are not wealthy people because you just said like Tesla and Mustang, which I think now most days are kind of now just like, okay, it's a cool car. But well, no, not celebrity I mean, cars. I expected you to go like Bentleys and Maseratis. No, there weren't any of those. No. It was funny because we were laughing because there was like a Volvo <laughs> like in the line too. And Jan was like, don't fire me, don't fire me, don't fire me. What's up, Hertz? <laughs> like that person is like, oh God. Please. Um, <laughs> one last Walt Disney Studios question. Mm -hmm. You got to go to like the store there, right? I did. So what is the yes. store? Is it? So it's two parts. Okay. There's the Walt Disney Studios and then you kind of walk through this door and it's the employee section as God. well. Um, and so, yep, and it, it they sell Walt Disney Studios specific merch. Yeah. They also have stuff that they sell at the parks. Um, in fact, that's where I got my ears. If you watched our vlog yep. that came out yesterday, um, that's where I got the ears. And apparently, the parks have been sold out of those ears for like months. Yeah. Um, and so, like, I had a cast member come up to me and say, where did you get those? Did you get them here or was that on a previous visit? And I said, oh, I got them at the studios. And she was like, oh, because we haven't had them here in the parks in forever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Um, but they had plenty at the studios. But, again, like, you have to be signed in by a cast member. That's so cool. So, um, and I got you a nice hat. You did. I love my Walt Disney <laughs> Studios hat. Yep. Um, and then in, like, the employee section, they had limited edition um pins and all kinds of stuff and so what an amazing experience especially for because i know you are again you're not you don't love disney because like oh i really like the rides or i really mm -hmm. like for you it really is like still sort of the magic of disney yeah and i can think of no better disney experience in the entire world where the magic is made than Walt Disney Studios. Agreed. I mean, it really is. Like, it's it's the history and the nostalgia and the creativity that's happening there that um, is just what makes it so amazing. Oh, God. It was so cool. That's, that's unbelievable. <laughs> so, you leave Walt Disney Studios. 
Yes. Okay. And then we went to the last bookstore oh. in downtown LA. It's the only one that's left. Uh, well, <laughs> you would think. Um, but that's what it's called, the last bookstore. Oh, and okay. it was so cool. Um, it's a used bookstore. And the whole bottom floor is, you know, racks and racks of books. That was super cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you go upstairs. And there's um, there's still a ton of books. But the bookshelves are, like, interesting shapes. And they have... It's like the whole upper level is Instagram gold. Yeah, the photos you sent me, it feels like a bookstore that was made for Instagram. I think that the entire upper floor was. Gosh. Um, and it's, I mean, like literally like one of the photos that I, that we posted um, is, or maybe I posted it on mine, I don't remember, but it, like there was like a line of people like we had to wait it's to you- get our photo there because that's where people take their photo that's the one of you like looking through the circle of books mm-hmm. yeah that's so cool mm-hmm. and and then we like stayed and helped other people get their photos taken there and like, <laughs> <That's laughs> it's just like but like all the all the bookshelves up there are like interesting angles or they're like um curvy bookshelves or they i don't know like there's just the whole upstairs was just amazing and then there's a whole art gallery ga- gallery that you walk through as well okay um so that's kind of like is is that sort of all of the i mean day not really day one kind of the full day two right yeah pretty much okay back to the house relax yep. that sort of thing yep um now moving on to day three of your trip yes um what what do we got going on how first of all I don't know how you top day two. Like that day is like, <laughs> you could have, you could have gotten on an airplane at the night of day two and been like, that was the greatest trip. Success. Success. Um, true. But we did a lot more. Uh-huh. Um, so we went to Crystal Cove. Okay. We went to the beachcomber for, um, breakfast. Mm-hmm. And what is, what is Crystal Cove? Um, it's, I think it's in Newport beach. I might be wrong about okay. that. Um, it's just, it's a really nice beach. And, um, they have, so it's funny because Janice was kind of telling me the history of it. So there's, um, in like the 60s, the fifties or sixties, um, people just sort of started like tent camping on the beach and then just started without any permits or whatever, just building cabins on the beach. Yeah. And then it became kind of a national park. And so they have been restoring the cabins and you can actually rent them. Oh, that's cool. And stay on the beach. Um, and it's huh. literally, like, on the beach. Okay. And, um, like, I mean, li- literally, like, these people would just randomly build cabins. Um, and actually, one of the houses on be- on this beach, number 13, okay. is, um, if anybody has seen the movie Beaches. Oh, gosh. It's where, <laughs> it's where Hillary dies. Oh. Um, that took a turn. It, <laughs> yeah, I know. And, um, but still, like, it's a, it's a really important, like, piece of the movie. And, um, on, I forget what days, but not, not the day that we were there. You can actually tour this little cabin huh. and they have some of the movie stuff and they have that kind of stuff. But, um, when we were there, you can just like walk up and onto the porch and kind of like peer through the, the windows, but it has, um, posted outside. It has like, you know, about beaches and what was filmed there. And it has pictures of, uh, Barbara Hershey and Brett Midler and, I remember um, that's a movie my mom loved growing up. Oh gosh, I loved that movie. Yeah, I think yeah, that, yeah, okay. yeah. So that was really cool. I texted it to my mom and my sister, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, look where I am!" And <laughs> they like they couldn't believe it. It was amazing. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you, is that kind of what you did the rest of the day? That was the rest of that day. We went to Chick Fil A for dinner. Okay. That, <laughs> and I texted you a picture. Well, that is you always text me a picture when you go to Chick Fil A without I, me. I do. Um, it was actually funny because <laughs> Janice and I were messaging before we went down there and Janice was like, like are the things that Sherry likes, what can I have in the house? What can I do to make her comfortable? And I was like, honestly, Sherry's super, like really easy. I mean, you're super adventurous eater. You don't really like spicy foods, but other than that, you'll pretty much try anything. Which is what I told her. Like she asked me and I was like, actually, I mean, you know, I don't really like spicy foods, but like, I'm, I really don't, I'm not picky. Mm-hmm. And then she texted Adam and she's like, okay, but for real, like, what does Sherry like? What oh, I would have done. Like? And, and you said the same thing. And she was like, oh, okay. I would have done the same thing though. <laughs> um, but one thing I did say, I was like, you know, Chick-fil-A is Sherry's love language. And it was funny because, because <laughs> Janice was like, well, my family will be happy to hear that. It's like, I got the impression maybe Janice, not the biggest Chick-fil-A fan. Not the biggest fan. But the rest of the family is. Yes. And so. So you, you being there was the so excuse. So honestly, we got Chick-fil-A <laughs> and Janice ordered like 
Chinese food. I think no, she did. absolutely she did. Yeah. You know what? We're sending Janice as a thank you. <laughs> We're sending Janice a Chick-fil-A gift card. Although, what? we did go again the last day I was there, like right before I went to the airport. Yeah. And she d- she found something on the well, menu that she likes. Well, well, well. She really liked their chicken soup. Oh. Their chicken noodle soup. They have chicken noodle soup? They have chicken noodle I soup. I would not have known that. And she was like, okay, this is actually not bad. And she called Paul and she's like, okay, so I might have actually found something at Chick-fil-A that I like. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So a couple days in, you get your Chick-fil-A. Got my you've Chick-fil-A. You've had your sunshine. You've had your Disney. you had your beaches. Yep. So far, the trip's off to a freaking amazing start. And it keeps going. Okay, what do we got next? <laughs> so the next day, we went to San Clemente. Okay. Clemente, Clemente. No, I'm, I'm not no, really sure. I have no idea. Please help. Um, and we went to, I don't remember, I feel like we got food there, but I don't remember, maybe not. Um, and then we went to Beach Town Books. Okay. And it was this cute little bookstore. Um, and I got a lot of photos from there too. I'll be posting on my Instagram. Um, and I bought four of the seven books that I okay. <laughs> bought on the trip there. Yeah. Now, a lot of this, I want to ask. So, a lot of this stuff you did was um, you, Janice, Alyssa, Amy. Some of it was just you and Janice. Some of it was you, Janice, and Amy. Mm-hmm. Right? That kind of thing. Yep. So, yep. different things were like different groups of you. Yes. Different people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So, this this day was me and Janice and Amy. Cool. Yep. Um, and then we went back to the house and I, I know that we ate something, but I'm really sorry. I don't remember what. And then we, um, cause I didn't take pictures of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we went back to the house for dinner and we had our Galentine's day Oh, dinner. Nice. And I did not know Janice was doing this, but she bought me a little gifty bag as well. Cause she gave, she had, um, gift bags for her daughters. That's sweet. And so she included me in that, which was super awesome. Um, and then... We want to move to the next day? Move to the next day. The next day was Super Bowl Sunday. Yep. Okay. Yes. Right. <laughs> and we started the day off at Disney California Adventure. Okay. Um, who went to Disney? Who's now? Who, what group is this? It was me and Janice and Alyssa and Amy. Okay. So Paul at this time is just holding down the house with Oakley. Yes. Their dog. Yes. Paul and Oakley. Paul's like, oh, thank God. You girls go do your thing. Yes. Correct. Got it. Yep. <laughs> And so we, we went to Disney's um, California Adventure. We did a whole bunch of stuff there. And then we went across to Disneyland and we did a whole bunch of stuff there. And then we left at like 2 p.m. Okay. I think. And we headed back to the house for the Super Bowl. Highlight of Disney California Adventure and Disneyland. Oh, gosh. Um, so it was really interesting doing it. So we, we did do um, both with the Hanson family mm-hmm. um, on our layover to Fiji. Yeah. And so it was really interesting, um, you know, doing it with people who know what they're doing and have the accessible pass. And, um, you know, it was so that it was the same kind of thing. Like uh-huh. we just we were able to, you know, walk to the front of the line and um I kind of do all of the things that we wanted to do Uh and not stand in line for hours. And so that was, it was really, really great. Okay. Um, and it was busier than I was expecting being Super you, Bowl Sunday. Yeah, you told me that. We kind of didn't really expect it to be very busy, but there were a lot of jerseys. I was just going to add, was my next question, a lot of jerseys? A lot of jerseys of all, um, all teams. I love that. There really weren't a ton of like Chiefs or Eagles, honestly. Did you see any Seahawks jerseys? I don't think I did. Oh, my heart's broken. I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, but we did see a lot of jerseys. Um, so You also got to meet some viewers. We did get to meet some viewers. Tell that story, because it's kind of fun. <laughs> it was so much fun. So in Disneyland, we walked up like toward the castle and we wanted our picture with the um partner statue. Yep. And so we were standing in line for that and there was, you know, two or three people ahead of us and this group of people kind of came and stood beside us and we were kind of in lines. And so I was a little bit like, what's, what's going on? And so I like kind of looked over my left and there was this group of uh, like a family and they just said, <laughs> the mother, uh, also named Sherry, said, um, when you're done taking your picture, can we get our picture with you? And... You didn't know. If you said at first you didn't know that she was talking to you. Um, right. And so, and I was just like I kinda looked at her and was like, wait, what? With, with who? <laughs> and then I realized, oh, they're probably viewers. <laughs> and I was just like, Oh, of of course. And so I asked their names and 
Um, and they're actually the ones who sent me the Inheritance Games book. Which is really cool. Which is so cool, which I devoured yep. and immediately bought the other two books and can't wait for the next one to come out. Like, I I mean, I, I loved this series. And so I talked about that for a minute. I'm like, thank you so much. Like, it was um, so great. I love that. I, yeah. lo- I love that you got, they had messaged us on Instagram that day. And we're just kind of like, oh my gosh, me and my family are here today too. Hope we get to see her. And so I kind of told him, I was like, well, I think I said like something like Sherry's at their California adventure right now, but they're heading over to Disneyland. If you see her, please say hello to Sherry. And then they messaged they later did. with like a photo. They're like, we did. We saw her. Yeah. It was so much fun meeting that family and we got our photos with them. And um, it, yeah, it was, it was so much fun. So then you guys leave the parks after spending the morning there. Also, I got to say, uh, Disney morning, Super Bowl afternoon. Sounds like a pretty freaking great day. <laughs> it was pretty great. So then you go back and you guys watch the game at home. We watched the game at home and then we just like hung out there. I got to know, what is Super Bowl food at the Hanson household? Apparently not Chick-fil-A, Janice. <laughs> um, all the same usual stuff. We had chips and dip and we had um, wings. Well, we had drumsticks mm-hmm. and we had... Uh, oh, we did stop at Jimmy John's and get sandwiches. Heck yes, you did. For everybody. So I got the BLT and I oh. actually only ate half. So okay. I put the other half in the fridge for somebody else to eat. Um, and yeah, just kind of like veggie platter and, you know, the, okay. I think the usual. Amazing. Yeah. All right. So then. Great. Um, that was Sunday. Uh-huh. So then Monday, what, are, what day are we on? The 13th? Sure. We went to Tustin. And we went to American Grill, which was this little... We had planned on going to a an Italian restaurant, okay. but they were closed on Mondays, oh. which we didn't know until we got there. And so we went to American Grill, which was delicious. Um, I had like a... I forget what I... Some kind of wrap. California wrap that was really yummy. Um, and then we walked across the street to our Vita Book Company. Lots of... I'm, I'm seeing a trend. Because these are my people. They're, they are your people. Um... And so we did a lot of bookstores. So we, yeah, we went to this, it was a really, another really great used bookstore. They have so many great used bookstores All in over. SoCal. I was a little Gosh. bit jealous. Um, and I don't remember what else we did that day. Okay. I didn't take pictures of anything else that we did. Okay. Um, and some of this though, like. You guys did a lot of stuff this year. We did a lot. And so we did have some downtime back at their house for dinners and for whatever. So it was, we weren't like go, 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 go the entire time. Like we did have meals at their house. Some like, some restful time, downtime, mm-hmm. you got to sit in the sun. Yes. Nice. Okay. Yes. Um, the next day was Tuesday, Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. And so Janice and I actually got up and we went to San Juan Capistrano and we uh-huh. went to a little brunch place called Ellie's Table. Okay, was it nice? It was really cute and <laughs> really yummy. I had um Is that wait, is that where you had like an avocado toast? No, the avocado toast was actually at the Beachcomber. Oh. But I had they had avocado toast and they had bruschetta toast <gasps> at Ellie's table. Stop. And so I got this bruschetta toast oh. that was actually whole tomatoes and balsamic with like a, a poached egg. Like it was, that sounds it was one of the best things that I've had. Like it was so good. Dang. I sent you pictures of it and the pictures just don't do it justice. <sighs> that sounds so delicious. It was so great. And, and then like and we fresh. each got coffees. We got, um, a, what was it? It was a honey. Yes, dear. <laughs> um, I'm try- it, I don't remember. Some kind of latte, but it was honey something latte. And we each got one, and they put different kinds of hearts in our in our cups. Aww. It was really cute because it was Valentine's Day. Um, and then we went to the San Juan Capistrano Mission. Okay. And that was really cool. It was um, – I love history. Yep. And so kind of getting to walk through there. And we were there on um, – the, apparently that's like the place to take fourth grade classes. And so there is, um, honestly, they have like signs like fourth graders, blah, blah, blah. And so like, it's, it's where you go. Oh my um, gosh. and so I, there are a lot of children. Um, but we did our own kind of tour at the, at the front desk. You can get these little like, um, phones and then you just hit these buttons for whichever oh, place yeah, yeah. you're at. Uh-huh. And they, they tell you what's going on in that place. And so, um, that was really interesting and 
it was really just beautiful grounds God. and you know that really beautiful like Spanish kind of yep. you got um, an, architecture and you got an ornament from there. A I Christmas did ornament. get a Christmas ornament. Hmm. Yep. Um, that, now that was not when you went down there. There were some things you knew that were like part of this trip. Like mm-hmm. you knew that studios was going to happen, Disneyland, that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. But San Juan Capistrano, like that wasn't really on the list, was that it? That wasn't on the list, but it was. It was a place that we had briefly talked about. Um, Janice and I, and I was just like, sure, like if we can fit that in, that's great. Like I, I love that kind of history kind of stuff. That's awesome. Um, and so we did, and it was, it was really, it was a beautiful day. Yeah, I love it. Yep, love it. I love it. So then, what do we got? Um, so that was Tuesday, and then I actually went home on Wednesday, the mm-hmm. evening of Wednesday. So, um, Wednesday morning and like breakfast and lunch time was just spent at the house. Okay. Um, Janice did have to work mm-hmm. and so, um, as did I. And so it was, it was spending time just kind of at the house. And then, um, we went, we, I think we, I want to say we left the house at like two thirty or so. Um, we had planned on going to a craft warehouse Ooh. and that sounds terribly dangerous. Uh huh. And by the time we got there, they had closed at two, which uh. we didn't realize we got there around three and we were like, well, dang it. So then we were like, well, now we're way too early to go to the airport. Oh, sure. Because <laughs> um, I had planned on being in the airport around 6. And so we were like, well, dang it. What do we do? So we, um, there was traffic, as always, in, in Los Angeles. And so we found a Chick-fil-A that's kind of near the airport. And we had a really early dinner there, just the two of us, me and Janice. Just hung out and chatted? Yep. Before just the hung airport? out and chatted and then went to the airport. I love that. Yeah. Um. So that's kind of the last, and then you flew directly home. Get home. Yep. Got home a little after midnight. Um. The trip. Uh. Highlights. Like, what were some of the things? I know you talked about a lot of like things you did, but yeah. when you look back on the trip, like, what are the memories that you were going to take? Um. Spending the time that we had, that I had with the Hanson family. Like, hmm. they really are just our people. I wish I'd had a little more time with Alyssa, but she was working. Sure. Um. And she she doesn't live at the house she has her own place and Uh so um she was there for probably half of the days that i was there maybe but um still kind of having to work and stuff so um i didn't get to spend as much time with her as i would have liked to but spending the time that i had with the rest of the hansons was just so much fun Hmm. um i really enjoyed just getting to know them better and they have um, a very welcoming comfortable home Hmm. um and it was funny because um, I texted Janice from the airport and, you know, just thanked her for opening up, you know, such a wonderfully safe place um, for me to just go and hang out. And um, she's like, well, I don't, I don't know if I'd say safe because, you know, Oakley is just this vicious guard dog. Um, and <laughs> she's not. She's this tiny little, like, she's adorable. And also I have a new best friend. I was say, but so, you're not a huge, like, I'm the dog person of our relationship. Right. And I'm really not usually a dog person, but um, Oakley was just determined to to turn me into a dog person. I love and that. And she, um, from, like, day one, was just like, you are not my person. That's so cute. Yep. Yeah, so it was, she's so sweet. And um, so, yeah, I just, the last I was there, I was sitting on the couch with my laptop and I had my leg out and she came and, like, rested her head like on my leg you sent me a photo of that right yep and yeah. she laid like that for a while and <laughs> so that's the picture i sent janice was like yep sure is vicious yep vicious dog. so vicious <laughs> so mm. yep it was it was so much fun i think honestly that was the highlight like just really getting to hang out with them um it was it's a concern for me because here's why people <laughs> so i met janice and amy first then here's the thing Amy, Amy's always been a fan of Adam. Amy and I have a special bond. Amy's amazing. No longer. No, listen. <laughs> and I knew from the beginning, it's like, ah, there's never going to be a chance for me to ever to win Janice to my side. That was clear from the beginning. Well. Janice puts up with me to keep friendship with you. Correct. That's what it is. Correct. But I knew it's like, okay, so it's one to one. You've got Janice. I've got Amy. Now we got two more in play. We got Paul and Alyssa. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. I'm thinking, well. I, I feel like they're both in play. And I'm like, I think I can get both of them to Team Adam. We had an amazing time uh, at Disneyland with them. Mm-hmm. I think that they're just such a cool family. And even then, I'm like, okay, this is in play. Like, we don't have a clear winner yet. And Sherry goes down there. And I had the thought mid-trip, what did I do? I've made a huge mistake. I've made a huge mistake <laughs> because I've lost. Now I've lost the whole Hanson fam. The whole family. Even Oakley. 
who you, I've never I met. Who you've never met, but who Ugh. you would really adore, but she's still going to choose me over Dang you. it. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I went from genuinely having a shot to win the Hanson fam to Team Adam to losing the entire Hanson fam to fam to team sherry real quick um that in fact sucks. um we were we were kind of laughing and i did feel a little bit bad um so the first day that Alyssa came back to the house um usually oakley is just like all about Alyssa. Uh-huh. and Alyssa and i were both sitting like on the sofa and <laughs> oakley came and like looked between us and and Alyssa was like come here baby and oakley looked at her and then jumped up to me oh <laughs> No, you know what? I'm glad you're telling me this because... And you're... honestly, I think this was like day like two or three. Like it wasn't very far into the trip and Oakley was just like, no, thank you. Nope. See, I'm glad you're telling me this story because now, because I'm still trying to figure out a way to win the Hanson fan back, <laughs> I feel like now I need to play this against you toward Alyssa to get her to Team Adam. <laughs> I need to be like, listen. Your own dog. Your own dog. Betrayed you. Yep. That's exactly right. Well... I don't know if it'll work. I will say that they are, you used, you used an important word, uh, talking about your text to Janice. And this is what I really love about like the friends and family that we have in Florida and now the friends and family in California. And we have these, we have these people around the country that have become like safe family, Mm -hmm. like friends to us that I just love that at a moment's notice, there are all of these places that I can feel confident, like us going to, or you going to, or me going to, mm-hmm. and knowing that we have a safe place to land with people who, like, are people. Yeah. I think that's so cool. I know. And, and, and Janice and I actually talked about that when mm-hmm. I was down there. Yep. Yeah. That's that's a big deal. Um, so Agreed. So, Sherry Beth, that was your California trip. That was our California trip. I do want to say... When we got back to the house mm-hmm. after the mission in San Juan Capistrano, mm-hmm. there was a delivery waiting for oh, me. Oh, there was. There was. It was Valentine's Day. It was. And you had sent me mm-hmm. a truly amazing um, charcuterie board. Mm-hmm. Um, and you would said that you had talked about or thought about like flowers or candy or whatever and um decided on this and that was it was such a good choice and i shared it with the fam um that's what we actually had what we had for lunch on wednesday before we left the airport and it was so good my thought was who wants a man who sends flowers when you can get a man that sends meat and cheese i mean you're not wrong but also (laughs) and like chocolate dipped strawberries well it was from it was from (laughs) called uh I think Gray's or Grays. was it Gray's? Is that mm-hmm. right? I found them online. I saw that they were based somewhere close to the Hanson's house. I saw that they did local delivery. And I was like, this is perfect. Like mm-hmm. it's not, it's not flowers. It's something that was and just it was, different. Right. And it was two boxes that they mm-hmm. sent. So there was a heart shaped box that had the meat and the cheese and the nuts and the strawberries and the honey, honey yep. and different kinds of dried fruits. And like, it was really just beautiful. It was beautifully put together and really just delicious. And then there was another box of crackers for all of it. Yeah, I didn't know that there was going to be a second box. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, that was... I also wanted something that, like... I thought about sending flowers. You could have them in your room the whole time. That's fun. But also that I wanted something that, like, the whole family that you were with could have. Mm-hmm. I just figured this should be box. It was great. That's cool. Yeah, it was really fantastic. But it was also... I just felt very loved. Hmm. On Valentine's Day from yeah. my from my love. I'm glad that's the goal, right? Yeah. Meats and cheeses. <laughs> so California trip. Success. Any regrets going, hundred percent worth it. All it was, of that. It was totally worth it. It got uh. me out of the snow. In fact, it was really funny because it continued to snow Ugh. while I was gone. And at one point you actually um what was it, Saturday or I think Something. so. Saturdays, yeah. Um, you texted me and you were like, "Don't let them kick you out. You just need to take up residency in Southern California. Like, don't come back here. This is stupid." Well, yeah, I was like, <laughs> "Like, look, there was so much." Snow. I was like, "Look into what California squatter laws are, because I don't think they can <laughs> legally remove you from the house for a little bit." And I, I mean, apparently, you're just allowed to like pitch tents and build cabins on random beaches, and you should so have done that. It's a whole thing. I will say that was like we said it jokingly, but I really did mean it. <laughs> Because I know how hard this winter and the darkness and snow have been this year. More yeah. than any winter before, I think. Yeah, it's been a lot. And there was a point, like, honestly, I was like, 
hey, if it's possible for you to just, like, stay down there, I'll meet you in New Orleans for the cruise. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, I, I did consider. Like, stay there for I, three more weeks. I really missed you. Well, I missed you, too. <laughs> I'm glad you had, had an amazing time. I did. I'm glad that you came home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and so I think we've said this in the vlogs, but you, um, I had, I had never actually traveled without you. Yeah. So you travel and we travel. Yeah. But I have not traveled. Yep. Aside from like one or two nights for work and stuff like you know just really like mm-hmm. these short tiny little trips and that I don't think count. And so like I haven't been gone for an extended period of time um since before we were married. No. It... And you discovered that you do not do well. I discovered that I don't do well here <laughs> on my... Well, this is the thing is that when I travel by myself, it's easy. Well, sure. Because there's new things to explore and go see and do and like all of that. And it's a foreign that. bed that like you know is going to be foreign. And so like, yeah. it's just whatever. But like you haven't slept in our bed By myself? Alone. It was weird. And you had a lot of trouble sleeping. It was so strange. I will say that one of my takeaways from your trip though, even is tied to this, is the fact that I would like us to be more intentional about sending you away by yourself mm. more often. Like, especially thinking about the friends now we have spread across the country. That yeah. I just think, I think there's something, you've allowed me to have those times when I just need to go by myself. Mm-hmm. And I think that we need to be more intentional about you having those times. Because in some yeah. ways, one of the dangers is that you can fall into the trap, and I have fallen into this trap, and this is what I has led me to this, is sort of using your introvertedness Mm -hmm. To be like, well, what Sherry really wants is to be home, quiet, and by herself. Right. Which is largely true. Which is true. But. But I think it's also really healthy for me to get out of Alaska, uh especially during the winter when it's so cold and there's so much snow and I'm in so much pain. Yep. (laughs) Um, I think it's it's really probably good for me to just get out. And that's what I want to, like, be more intentional about Mm -hmm. is in, like, Incoming years to say, okay, like, what is the winter trip? Like, who's the girlfriend we're sending you to this year? You know what I mean? Like, who are, maybe you and Laura are going to do something, or you and Auburn are going to do something, you and Janice. Like, Mm -hmm. who are we sending you to to go just, like, have fun with and make memories with and do stuff with? me and Cecilia, my my sister-in-law. Totally. Yep. Like, would have a blast. We we have a lot of friends who live in warmer places. Yep, and so getting you to a place in the winter (laughs) that gets you into sunshine, I think, will be a good thing. Yep, I agree. I'm so glad you went. I am too. I'm you really to go, glad that I went. You got to go to Walt Disney Studios. I sure did. And oh, one of the other things oh. there I forgot to talk about was like, I forget if it's called like the, oof, the Hall of Legends or something like that. Um, and that's where like the original partner statue is. Oh my And gosh. there's like the bench with Roy, Disney, and Minnie Mouse, <sighs> and all of these plaques that have... Um, handprints of a bunch of you know disney legends um actors and musicians and artists and all of the things um and it was it was really really cool getting to see some of these names that i recognize from you know reading walt's biographies and you know people like his his original drawing team that's so better that have these plaques there and like julie andrews and dick van dyke and um yeah, it was just truly legends. Truly legends. Like it was just so cool. And then from there, that's where you can actually look up and see the corner that was Walt's office, I've, and you can actually still tour it. I've got to figure out a way there. to get Amy back to my side <laughs> and and win Alyssa and Paul over. I, I don't. Just, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got to figure this out. <laughs> friends we love you guys so much so again very different podcast um we just thought it'd be fun to tell you about sherry's trip in a way that was different than like a normal travel vlog since you didn't vlog i didn't vlog and i i considered it a couple of times and i was always just like eh. i'm glad you didn't <laughs> because i feel like since i'm the one who vlogs when we travel mm-hmm. i feel like it would have taken away from you enjoying the trip honestly that's sort of where i where I fell because I was just like, man, if I put my phone up in front of me, like, I'm, yes, I'm taking 8 million pictures of everything that I do, but it's, I feel like it's different because I can like take a picture and then like put my phone down and just enjoy. But I feel like if I was vlogging, Mm -hmm. um, because it is more stressful for me and I'm just a lot more like self-conscious about it, I just feel like I would have been so much more focused on, on what I was vlogging versus 
taking in, in the experience. Taking in the experience. Yeah, so I'm yeah. glad you didn't. So, friends, we love you guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for listening to the Lug Life Podcast. Yeah. And we will see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye.